Hello dear children welcome to the maths class of standard 5 today we are going to continue the chapter chapter 9 fractions so in this chapter we have already learned about equivalence of fractions and then finding the missing numerators of denominators in the fraction and we learned how to write some more equivalent fractions for a given fraction isn't it children yes so today we are moving to the next topic and that is reducing fractions using hcf reducing fractions using hcf we know what is hcf that is highest common factor isn't it and we know how to find out the hcf of two numbers right yes by prime factorization we can easily find out the highest common factor so children here we are going to study about reducing a fraction using hcf okay i will explain this using some examples okay children here is an example question just now we learn that fraction uh, can be reduced to its lowest term using either division or hcf now we are discussing here how to use the hcf to reduce a fraction okay so one example question is here reduce the following fractions to their lowest terms a part question 12 by 24 b part question 35 by 50 c part question 36 by 48 okay so here the first question is 12 by 24 okay children so i will tell you the step by step process you have to perform here and the first thing is first you find out the hcf of the numerator and denominator okay that is the highest common factor of 12 and 24 you have to find out first so you know how to find out the uh, hcf isn't it that is you you can easily find out it by using prime factorization method that is you can prime factorize the number 12 first and then uh, you can prime factorize the number 24 and then you will get the prime factors of 12 and 24 as 12 12 as 2 into 2 into 3 then prime factors of 24 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 okay now you have to take the common factors common factors are 2 2 and 3 so multiply all the three numbers together that is you will get it as 12 okay so hcf of 12 and 24 is 12 now the next step is divide both numerator and denominator of the given fraction by using the hcf here we got the hcf as 12 so you divide the numerator of the given fraction and the denominator of the given fraction by using 12 okay children look here 12 divided by 12 is 1 and 24 divided by 12 is 2 so when re therefore when reduced to its lowest term 12 by 24 becomes 1 by 2 clear children so the first step is you find out the hcf of the numerator and denominator okay and then by using that hcf you can divide the both numerator and denominator then you will get the reduced form of the given fraction is it clear children okay so next question also you can answer like this next question is 35 by 50 you have to reduce 35 by 50 to its lowest term okay all right so children for this you can take the hcf of the numerator and denominator here the numerator is 35 and denominator is 50 isn't it so take the hcf of 35 and 50 okay so do the prime factorization then you can find out the factors as 5 into 7 then when you are prime factorizing 50 you will get the factors as 5 into 5 into 2 okay now the next step is take the high uh, take the common factors okay take the common factors that is 5 is the only common factor here so you can write 5 as the 
HCF. Okay, so you can write HCF is equal to five. Now we know the next step is divide thirty five by five and fifty by five. Thirty five by five is seven and fifty by five is ten. So the reduced form of thirty five by fifty is seven by ten. Clear, children? Okay. So look at the next question. Here uh, in next question, the fraction given is thirty six by forty eight. Okay, you have to reduce thirty six by forty eight to its lowest term. So first take the number thirty six, then you can prime factorize. So after prime factorization, you will get the prime factors as three into three into two into two. Okay, then prime factorize the number forty eight, then you will get the prime factors as two into two into two into three into two. Okay, now take the common factors from thirty six and forty eight. So here three is in both uh, factors of thirty six and forty eight. So first you can write one three. Okay, then uh, two is common. So if uh, the number two is common in both, you can write two ones. Okay, so two. Then one two, one more two is common in there. Right. So you can circle that also. Then write again one two. So we got three into two into two is the HCF of thirty six and forty eight. So multiply three into two six six into two twelve. So HCF is twelve. So what is the next step? Yeah, divide both numerator and denominator by twelve. That is thirty six by twelve and forty eight by twelve. Right. So thirty six by twelve is three. Forty eight by twelve is four. So when you are dividing thirty six by twelve, you will get the answer three. Forty eight by twelve, it will be four. Okay. Now the fraction is three by four. So therefore, reduced form of thirty six by forty eight is three by four. Okay, children, is it clear? Okay. So this is the way to reduce a given fraction by using hcf always remember first you have to take the if one fraction is given to find out the uh, to uh, you uh, to write in the reduced form then first you take the hcf of the numerator and denominator then by using that hcf you can divide both numerator and denominator the fraction you are getting after that process is the reduced form of that given fraction is it clear children okay so i hope it's all clear for you and there are so much questions in your drill time questions based on this you can answer that all questions in your notebook okay so i'm winding up for today thank you